And I'm excited to welcome legendary Miss Cheryl Ladd here to Heather B. Live. Hi, Cheryl. Hi. Yes, nice to meet you. So nice meeting you. You look absolutely fabulous. Thank you. I tried. You, you, <laughs> if, if, if this is trying, like, wow, 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 wow. Um, make sure uh, Miss Lads, she, because she's she doesn't hear, uh, can't hear oh, yeah. in the headphones. Yeah, she's hooked up, or she has the wrong headphones. No, you just have to turn. Oh, she has to turn. Okay, let me I hook you up. I have to turn something on. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hi. There you are. <laughs> oh, that's better. It's better. How have you been? I have just been fantastic. Mm -hmm. I had a really. I was so enjoying your your talk about aging and 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 dealing with it because you know it's not that fun sometimes. You mm -hmm. look in the mirror and go, "What happened?" Um, and what is happening? And mm -hmm. what is going to continue happening? Yeah. So, yeah. But overall, I have to say that I, what you said is so important. Main, you're the maintaining of everything about yourself. I, I, like I. I, I'm a believer. I go to church. I maintain my spiritual life. I Amen. maintain my physical life. Amen. I exercise three, four times a week still. I walk my dogs. I, I Zumba. You know, I do really? those sort of awesome. things. Absolutely. Because I want to keep as much of my ability to do whatever I want as I possibly can for the longest amount of time. Well, Cheryl, okay, so now I have to start at the very beginning because Tramel here is always on me about going to the gym and exercising. And I'm always thinking, like most women, if you want to chime in this conversation, 866-801-TALK, join us at Heather B. Live. Like most women, we're busy. We get, we Some of us are moms. Some of us have our own businesses and all these different things. How do you find time um, to go to the gym or work out? Well, I don't know about you, but I don't sleep as long as I used to. When I, I, I could sleep 12 hours when I was 25 years old. If I get seven, uh, that's a good seven. I sleep solidly for seven hours. For someone my age is fine. But then I have time, a little time in the morning, and I get up, and I go Zumba, and I go for my walk, and I eat well, and I do all that. Yeah. I am so optimistic. Can I just say this first, though? Mm -hmm. I was getting cataracts. So can I just want to talk about that for a second? Because... It was making me feel depressed because I was not comfortable driving at night because with the cataracts, it made the lights coming at me all blurry. I couldn't tell where the how far the cars were away. I just became really insecure, and I'm thinking, oh, man, I'm getting old. You know, I can't see, and I, I could not never find my glasses. Well, I had to wear glasses now right. to read anything, mm -hmm. and even that was not great. Um, I couldn't thread a needle if I had to sew on. I mean, it was not good. So when the doctor told me I had cataracts, I was like, oh, man, mm. I got cataracts? Right. <laughs> like, Something you know? else to add to. The right. eight, yes. Uh, really? Okay. And he said, no, 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 this is kind of good news because they can do something about it. You're going to have cataract surgery and have your lenses replaced. And I thought, eye surgery? Oh, yay. Right. Uh, that sounds really fun. He said, uh, and then he told me about these panoptics lenses. And these lenses are the first and only in the United States that are trifocal. So you can read, you can see your computer, you can see distance. It's like having your childhood eyesight back. Okay, I have like five different questions yeah. now. All right, so Cheryl, first and foremost, what does cataracts feel like? What You said something about lights being blurry, but what should you start paying attention to? Well, mostly, well, you always have to go... You know, like any any other part of your body, you go to your doctor and you get a checkup. Mm -hmm. Well, I had my eyes checked because I was having to wear glasses and they weren't doing the job. So I figured I needed better glasses. And he said, well, actually, you're getting cataracts. And he explained to me what they were. And they're like a little kind of murky thing that starts covering your eyes and blurring your eyesight. And eventually, if you don't get rid of them, you go blind. So, uh, um, but but it's common. Everybody is, if you live long enough, you'll get cataracts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, he says, no, we just go in there and we have lenses that we put in um, to save your eyesight and you'll have fabulous eyesight. And my husband had done it and it made a world of difference for him. So I kind of knew what it was about a little bit. And in, I just feel so blessed that I got my cataracts now because these new lenses are head and shoulders above any other lens because you get your full vision back wow. and you don't have to wear glasses. So is it like a contact lens? It's a lens they put over, well, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> right. I, I, I should not describe the surgery okay, to you okay. because I was out. 
for well, seven but minutes. But the question is, is it permanent? <laughs> it's, it's completely permanent. I'll okay. have good eyesight for the rest of my life. And here's what it did for me. Yeah. Because that thing that I was feeling that I'm getting old and I've got to wear my glasses and I can't put on a bathing suit in front of anybody and I, you know, all mm-hmm. of these little things you're checking off. No, I got these, my contacts, in, my uh, cataracts fixed and I got these pan- panoptic lenses and I am telling you, it's like the sky opened up because I didn't realize wow. how murky my, my vision was. Vision it was all been. kind of like, you know, a sepia picture. Mm-hmm. had kind of a brown haze over everything. And it was like opening the refrigerator door. And the world just came alive to me. Wow. It's unbelievable. Because I'm digging for glasses now. I'm just like in this two pair. It's a pair for this. It's another pair for that. And I'm, you know, I want to start taking care of myself ahead of time. You know, um, as you mentioned before, you don't want to wait until the very last minute and you realize, you know, I do get my eyes checked normally. I wear contact lenses, but um, it's something that I heard my grandmother mention this weekend as well when she was looking for her glasses. What was the recovery time like, though? Nothing. It was... For a couple of days, three or four days, you can't bend over and pick things up because you don't want to drop your head down and put pressure Mm -hmm. on the new lenses. And and that goes away after, I don't know, five days or something. And then you put particular eye drops in because it helps them heal and it keeps um, any infections away. And I had no problem, I'm telling you. I just feel really optimistic about getting older now in a way that I didn't feel before. It makes so much sense because a lot of my aunts, I would say they are about um, 65-ish, maybe 63, um, between 63 and 65, and they don't drive at night anymore. And I noticed that they stopped driving around 59, but I didn't know... Uh, what the reason was and they said the lights from the cars coming in the opposite directions I had no idea that it may have something to do with cataracts they may have cataracts yeah I'm gonna be on the lookout for that um has it helped you in terms of like your career we always hear um women uh, we're in this profession and entertainment and when you're getting older um it's harder to book jobs or people are not looking at you in the same for the same roles but to me, your eyesight helps you feel confident. You know, you can see now. You, To me, your hearing even gets better. When I finally put my glasses on, I can hear better. So it's like, I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> but I, it seems like everything comes together when you can see. Seriously. Yes. Has it helped um, professionally? Totally, because... I- Inevitably, I'd be on the set and I'd be working and the director would come over with the script and say, honey, on this line, would you when let's work this a little over. I want to read. Could you say it this way? And then I'm looking at and all I see are little like marks. I don't know what the words are. I can't see them. I have to go get my glasses. I said, I'll, I'll be right back. And mm-hmm. I had to run and hope I could find my glasses. And it was really frustrating for me to do it. Now I go, yes, let's look at that script. <laughs> and um, I can read a phone book. No glasses, no nothing. None. Man, come on, Tramel. Yes, we, we, I'm with are, you. Are we candidates? We, we, well, we have to have cataracts though, right? <laughs> no. I mean, do, like, you, what? do you have to have cataracts? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, we don't want. No, we don't want it's that a cataract yet. surgery. Oh, it's a cataract but, surgery. But, but we're all. You're. If you live long enough, you'll. Everybody will have cataracts. What, and everybody. Like, it just happens within old age. It's an a- element of aging. Okay. And I just feel sorry when I think about all the people that had cataracts years ago, and there yes. was nothing they could do for them, ex- and they were going to go blind. That was that was a diagnosis. Mm. You're going to go blind. But now we don't have that. Now we get to have 12-year-old eyes again. Yeah. It's just, it's I just feel thing. so blessed. It you is. know how, in, you know, I think about it all the time. The time in which you were born mm. has all of them have their ups and the downs, but boy, we have the ups for our yeah. health and yeah. our eyesight and all of the things they can do replace knees. I mean, think about mm-hmm. what what our grandparents suffered, you know, and we don't have to do that. It's just wonderful. That's that's the thing that I'm thinking about. You know, um, I was telling everybody in here I'll be celebrating my 50th next year in, uh, in, in, in uh, 2021, and I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. But, dog it, Cheryl, I hurt. Man, I roll over in the morning sometimes. I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I, I, I want to be excited about it. You know, I do. I, 50 is that number where – 
you just start to reflect. And my brother was, my brother said to me, my younger brother, of course, uh, that's the end of it for you. You only got about 25 more summers left. I was like, what, what? the hell? Why would you say that to me? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's over. And, and you know, you, you're coming up on that number. But is there anything that you can add um, as you, you're celebrating your life I as am. is. You're not, you're not even like, oh, back in this day and back with, you're mm-hmm. celebrating now. Mm-hmm. Is yes. there any tips you can give to women that may be approaching 40 or or 30 because some girls now 30 is old like stephanie here is in her 20s still uh cat how old are you maybe 22 21? 21 oh god go get out 21 years old <laughs> what what would you say well they don't have to worry about it they know i mean just in general aging. oh in general yeah. well first of all not aging is not a good thing yeah, you're mm. dead because you're dead. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> if you don't get a chance, if you don't get a chance to age, that's not a good thing. And I have now at this age lost a lot of people in my life. Yeah. And I look at every time I get up out of that bed and I feel like going for my walk or I run out and get the coffee and take a cup of coffee to my husband and say, "What are we going to do today, honey?" Mm-hmm. I just I am just cherishing every moment. I think that the healthier you're, you can keep your body, because aches and pains are not fun. That's not fun. So you, you need to find a way to deal with that, uh, whether it's exercising or getting a masseuse or getting getting yourself working better. Just, not just, just a red wine and a tequila, right? That's And that what helps, it, too. Yes. Hey, <laughs> I told you, Chamel. I told you. Oh, yeah. That, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm there with you. Oh, thank Some you. Some nights... Not the tequila, but the wine, definitely. For sure, okay. It's wine night. That's it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, I think just keeping an optimistic thing, and it helps if you're really taking care of yourself physically. There are very few things that I can't do that I used to do. Mm -hmm. And and that feels really good. So when your body's fit and your spirit is fit and your mind is fit, because what happens is you go, hey, I got an idea. I'm going to go to that place that I've always wanted to go and I'm going to climb up I'm going to walk up that hill I'm going to see what's on top of there and have my just anytime you can keep your yourself healthy in every way you're giving yourself more time and you're giving more yourself more amazing experiences and I think you know I, I have so many wonderful girlfriends and we talk about just like like y'all do you sit around and you talk about yeah I'm doing this and I have that but you know that is an important thing Mm. Because when we were all created, the men walked out and didn't speak to each other. They just gave each other signals while they were hunting. And the women sat around the fire and said, now, listen, my baby's got this rash. What do you, do you have anything for that? (laughs) And we figure stuff out. Mm -hmm. And we share the information. And one of the most valuable things you can have as you age is good girlfriends. Good girlfriends. And I am blessed with them. Amen. A six six eight zero one talk. The legendary Cheryl Ladd is here. I have Debbie on the line from Kentucky. Hey, Debbie, how you doing? Say hello to uh, Miss Cheryl. Hi, Miss Cheryl. I Hi. shouldn't even call you Miss Cheryl. We're probably near the same age. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Debbie. Hi. Hi, it's Cheryl. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. I just want, yeah, I wanted to talk about the cataract surgery a little bit. I just. I'm post-op on my left eye about two weeks ago. Uh I'm still dealing with all the drops. And um, I could not afford the um, surgery that you had. It Uh it was going to be $6,200 an eye or something like that. So it was really expensive. I couldn't afford that. So what I did was had my right eye surgically, uh, the cataract is for distance. Uh-huh. And my left eye is for uh, reading. Close up. Yep. Yep. Wow. So so now I'm trying to get this brain eye coordination going on, trying to figure out what I am seeing through. And so uh, how, I wanted to ask, how long did it take? Uh, well, you had the, the, the better lenses, uh, but I want to know just how long did it take you for you to fully recover? Oh golly, not not long at all. I would say say that my girlfriend did exactly what you did. She had that kind of surgery, and it took her a while because your brain has to organize this one singing close and this one singing far. So mm-hmm. I think it. I think the doctor told her it was going to be a few months before it really is going to be harmonizing, and they aren't going to. 
um, be arguing with each other about who's doing what job. Right. And I think, uh, yeah, so she she did that. And um, she did fine now. She's she's doing fine. But it takes a little longer, I believe. Debbie, you doing okay? How are you feeling like spiritually inside as well? Because as Cheryl mentioned, you know, it's it's a combination physical and sp- spiritual. I agree with that as well. How are you feeling spiritually? Spiritually, I, I'm doing o- okay. Um, and, and I have to uh, create my own uh, atmosphere to receive my spirituality through reading and, and meditating. And I tried, I'm trying to do some yoga. I've got a little yoga studio in my, in my house that I, I try to do a little yoga That's and great. I'm getting ready to start strength training. I'm, I just turned 65. I'm thinking, you know what, these wow. aches and pains, I'm not trying to have it. Um, and, uh, you know, I just want to, uh, just get stronger as I age. So, do you are, have any suggestions, yeah, Cheryl? That, those are two excellent things that you're doing for your body. Um, the yoga definitely, and it's it that is also you know with the breathing and and everything. It, it also is kind of a spiritual feeling. You kind of get inside yourself and really live in yourself when mm. you do that. So I think that's a great thing. And strength training. I have to do more of it as well. Um, I'm doing some little weights for my upper body because you know. It just it just withers away if you don't you know put some blood through there and 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 lift some weights. I you sound like me. You sound like you're really trying to do all the things you can do at this age. And we are well. You're younger than I am, but I still like you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, have a beautiful beautiful day. Continue to heal. God bless you and continue to work out. Yes. As Cheryl said it, and, and and gather yourself spiritually. I think the combination of it all will continue to help you see i gotta as tramel been pointing out i gotta figure out the the workout thing like um my husband and i were just talking about this yesterday afternoon just saying hey we should try to go w- for walks together you know um just start out small because i'm just really not a big gym person i don't have time i don't like the atmosphere of a, of a gym and i'm not gonna lie i tried the yoga thing and um <laughs> in my living room one day and then the whole time while I was stretching I just saw it like you know the lady who the instructor on the television was like breathe and clear your mind of thoughts and everything and I was breathing and I just visioned the ice cream that was in my freezer so I got up <laughs> plus I was hurting Cheryl I was like I can't do this stretch that she I was like okay it lasted a good 18 minutes I was good but then I came to the ice cream so Got to figure it so out. So I like your idea of doing the walking first. Okay. If the weather's going to get nicer and nicer, go out in the fresh air and walk. And then walk a little bit faster over a course of time. Just pick up the pace a little bit. Be sure you have somebody to talk to because when you're talking to somebody and you're visiting with somebody and you're walking, I, you know, I walk often with with girlfriends and mm-hmm. the time goes by a little it goes faster. really fast and you all of a sudden you've had a really good two mile walk and you don't even know it. And, it and that's really good because what that's going to do for your joints and your your soreness and your tightness that's going to get that blood circulating and and your joints for sure that will help them wear good shoes mm-hmm. and don't run you work out you walk for over an hour sometimes mm-hmm I don't walk fast for but, over an but hour. Still but sometimes an hour. I walk for an hour. We have Marie on the line from L.A. Hey, Marie, thank you for waking up early with us. We appreciate you. How you doing? I'm doing great, Heather. But see, I've been up because I'm 66 years old. God bless. I'm at the gym between 6.15 and 6.30, five days a week. I work out for 90 minutes. I look. 20 years younger than I am. You better work, Marie. I run, into, I run into people from college and high school even. They all recognize me. I don't I, I don't recognize them for nothing because Ew. they say I look the same <laughs> or I look Ew. better. You know, so I've been working out my whole life, but it's now that I really reap the benefits of it because I'm in really good shape. I have no health issues. I did have cataract surgery, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. But I have no health issues, no no high blood pressure, no diabetes, nothing. Are you really, Marie, really quickly, uh, while Cheryl is here, because I want to ask you both, are you really, like, particular with your diets, though, as well? Um, I eat anything I want, and sometimes I want a vanilla Haagen-Dazs ice cream cone. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm mad for it. 
and I have it. Oh, you have it. But in general, I don't eat much packaged food, very little packaged food. My husband cooks, oh, you know, with very clean elements, organic, as much mm-hmm. organic as we can find. And, um, yeah, so I eat I eat pretty sensibly, but I eat whatever I want. What, what about you, Marie? B- about the same. I eat really well, but I'm a baker. I've got a sweet tooth, and, yeah. and I eat things in moderation but I don't really deny myself anything and I mean I weigh 147 pounds and I'm five seven wow and it fits years on, and it you're fits fit on my frame yeah I'm fit I mean I've got thighs of steel and yeah. and Marie wouldn't you say <laughs> I love it. and I'm and I'm older than you too so but I still like you um <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't you say though that your whole attitude about life and getting older is is more uplifted that you're that you're not as panicked about it because you're taking care of yourself? Right, exactly. I enjoy every day. I've got two grown sons, I have two granddaughters. Wow. You know, they're the love of my life and you know, I enjoy my life, but I I'm in good physical shape. And I and I look I, I run into people who are ten years younger than me, and I'm looking at them like, "How are you so broke down? Oh, and listen, Why are you so broke down?" <laughs> Marie, just let everybody know you shut it down when you walk down the street, right, Marie? <laughs> you got it, girl. Hey, there you go. <laughs> have a beautiful day today, Marie, and thank you for calling in. We have to let um, Cheryl go. Cheryl, it was such an honor to meet you. Absolutely. Like, obviously, like everybody else is freaking out that you're even here in the building. I watched you on television. I've always just been a big fan of your work. I'm an even bigger fan now. Thank you for sharing what you've actually experienced and not, you know, second and third hand information. This is you just sharing your true experiences. So thank you. Come back anytime. Like the door here is always open for you. I just love it. Just come hang out with us. I'll, I can bring wine the next time <laughs> you bring the ice cream and we'll just have a good time. I love it. I'll come back. Thank you. I enjoyed it so much. Thank you so much.